Mmm. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Welcome back to another episode of Tiger Kitchen. This time, it's a Halloween special. Today, we're gonna be making some very festive pumpkin pie. So, let's go ahead and get started. While we got our oven preheated, we gotta start adding ingredients to the bowl to actually make the pie. So, first step is we gotta drain an egg. Ooh. So now that we've drained our eggs and got our sugar and salt added into this beautiful bowl, we have to add one can of pumpkin. Thank you. So now that we have our one can of pumpkin, we have to add one, some evaporated milk, which I have right here. That doesn't make any sense. How much do I add? One can. Oh. Uh, to make your own pumpkin spice, all you need is some uh, ground nutmeg, some ground clover. If it's just normal clover, you're gonna have to ground it. Uh, some gr ginger, which is also from the ground, and some ground cinnamon. So we have all of our ingredients mixed in the bowl, and now, wait, what do we, what do, we do next? You gotta beat it. Beat? So, you're just gonna wanna pour your pie into the pie crust. Ooh, ooh. So, now that our pie seems to be done, I have already turned off the oven and the timer. Let's get this puppy out of the old hot box. Ooh. Oh my goodness gracious. Smells like some good cooking. Ladies and gentlemen, I somehow managed to once again make something that looks scarily close to throw up. Um, but I will try it because I am but a mere puppet for your entertainment. <sighs> hot, oh my God, hot. It's not bad. Let's try the crust, is it undercooked? The crust is definitely not. Oh, that was just. Whatever I put in my mouth was not cooked. That tastes like raw egg. Well, I mean, it was an improvement. Uh, no matter how little, improvement is a good thing. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Please feel free to check out the full version on the Tiger Life YouTube channel. Anyway, back to the desk.